All right, so on the back of the launch of the Intel 11th Gen CPUs yesterday, it looks like we have a new king in town when it comes to price to performance. This is the i5-11400F CPU. And this particular CPU has some really, really good stats. So I want to I wanna go through the numbers with you here today so you can see what I'm talking about here and why I say it's such good priced performance. So let's just have a look at price to start off with. So we've got the i5-11400F here coming in at $239. It's kind of... It, it, it can say its comparison skews would be this one here, the 10600KF for 299 which is also an excellent buy. And it's also going up against the AMD Ryzen 3600. And also, it's, it's also going up against to these two, the 2600 and the 2600X. So remember these skews and remember these prices. So 20, the 2600 and 2600X around the same price as the, um, as the 11400, basically the 2600 is just $10 less. So not a big deal there. Um, with, the, with this one here, it's considerably more. So at 299, you can look at this at, at 240 odd dollars. You can look at that as being 20% cheaper than the Ryzen 3600. So, what really matters is, what's the performance like? So, that's what we're going to have a look at now. So, as you can see here, here's our CPU Z results for, uh, for the i5-11400F. This is running stock, um, just 12 threads. We haven't done anything, we haven't tuned it in any way. There's no overclocking enabled on this particular chip. So, there's not a lot we can do but this is the sort of single threaded performance that we're getting. So if we were to have a look at our temperatures and stuff, so there seems to be an issue here with the, um, with the minimum temps for some reason. Um, I would say that that's gonna be corrected with like a BIOS update or something like that. Sometimes you see teething issues like that with new tech. So can't really show you the minimums, but it seems like the minimums with the stock cooler are getting down to around the low 30s, like 30, 31, which is pretty much what you would expect. These highs here, this is from running Cinebench just for a 10 minute run. So as you can see from those temps, even with the stock cooler, the, the stock cooler is doing an adequate job at keeping it cool. So if you were looking at this chip for a budget productivity CPU, it's probably gonna be fine with just the stock cooler on it. So that's another great as asset of this CPU. And if we wanna have a look at the numbers, the comparative numbers. So let's start with single threaded performance. So out of the box, the, the i5-11400F is roughly on par with a 10900K, a 9900KS, it's beating a 10700K, a 9900KF, 9700KF, 9700K, 9900K. It's beating all of those chips. It's coming in at what is essentially 90% of the single core performance of AMD Ryzen 5000 SKUs and at less than half the price. So even when, even when we look at comparing it to the top tier gaming CPUs, when we consider that we're getting 90% of the performance for less than half the price of a 5600X, it really starts to speak a bit of volume. And even when we turn over to multi-thread, um, that ad go away? Even multi-thread, so straight out of the box, it's beating a 10600KF, it's beating a 3600XT, it's beating 3600X, 10600, it's beating 3600 by a long shot. So this one here, this is the one that costs $60 more. Um, so essentially, compared from comparing the price of this Ryzen 3600 six core, this is 80% of the cost of that. And you're getting, what's that? Roughly, 
about 10 to 15 percent more performance for 20 percent less dollars that's pretty hard to argue against sure you can overclock the the 3600x but then you need a really good cooler to overclock it so then you're spending more on it so is it really is it like you know people will come and say oh but you can overclock it but you know then you got to spend the money on the hardware this is these are the results with the stock cooler remember that stock cooler and this is not overclocked you can't even overclock on this skew and so going back to single thread 582 okay i would like to see i would like to see the person with just an ordinary cooler get their get any of these ryzen skews up to 582 at a stable level i mean i i've i've played around with i've played around with 3600 a fair bit i've played around with 3300x 3100x i've played around with um i've got a 5950x in in my editing pc um i've been played around with athlon um i I would be guessing that with yeah with most of these you would get you get around the 550s 560s when you overclock then it becomes unstable beyond that so you're not going to get up to these 580s with with any of those so just out of the box it's just absolutely smashing it and at $240 you pretty much can't go wrong so I'm I'm all for I'm all for overclocking, but that's not why this is exciting. It's not about the actual raw performance numbers, even though the performance numbers are pretty good. It's about how much performance you are getting for your dollar. Okay? Like let's just let's just reiterate and let's just go back to this just so you can see. For the same price, roughly, the twenty six hundred. Let's have a look at the 20, let's find the 2600 here on the single core results. There we go. 425. So you can get that for 229 and that'll get you 425. Or for an extra $10, you can get this. I mean, it, it, the numbers speak for themselves for an extra for an extra sixty dollars more than that you can get this it just doesn't make it just doesn't make sense it's a complete it's a complete paradigm change because now Intel represents the best price to performance um, a lot of people, you know, have it in their head that Ryzen is the best price to performance, but certainly not anymore. There is a new king on the block, and it's the i5 11400F. Um, that's this is the initial pricing. I don't know whether it's going to go up or down. This is these numbers are so good that I would be surprised if it goes down too much from where it is. Um, but you know the the 10600 sorry the 11600k is also an excellent CPU if you've got a bit more money but it comes in at about $420 so you know that will get you overclocking and that will get you um, into into Ryzen 5000 territory with an overclock so but you know like i said that's also a good value proposition cuz it is cheaper than a 5600x by uh, over $100 so there is a there is a saving there um but like i said you know today's video really what i wanted to highlight was the price performance on this 11400 f cpu and why if you're on a budget and you want to save money on on a cpu and you want something that will perform decent in terms of its multi-core performance so like you know it'll it'll render a video a little bit slower than a high performance chip but it will still get the job done it's not going to overheat and you don't need an extra cooler this is a great option if you want the best like the best out of the box gaming performance at under 250 dollars ha this is your boy right here so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think 
um, and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video.